So Patrick Dillon here, CEO and founder of Wise Digital Partners. I'm here with my head of sales and strategy, Evan Larkin. Evan, you come from a really interesting background as it, as it sort of mm-hmm. has molded into digital over the years. Mm-hmm. And we've worked together for a decade through three or four different companies now. But your start was in it was at NBC mm-hmm. in traditional media. Mm-hmm. And it was it was clear that as we were gravitating together in our careers towards digital, um, we both saw the value of digital marketing and and how much better it is for small business owners, big business owners, anybody mm-hmm. um, with limited advertising budgets or limited marketing dollars to put their money towards things that are more trackable mm-hmm. and give you a better return on your investment. So, what was it that like, how did you get started in digital marketing? And how did that lead you to where we are now together? Yeah, great question. Um, so how I got started in digital marketing and what really drew me to the digital space from more traditional methods uh, was really just the results that I saw. So coming from the TV space uh, and also having some insight and doing some work with people in the print space during that time as well, I would work with other businesses uh, along with uh, NBC you know, whether it be a magazine or a newspaper. And so I got to really understand how those traditional outlets worked, what they did do for businesses, and also where the flaws were. The biggest flaw that I saw pretty quickly uh, was the tracking. Um, so what I love about digital is it's all trackable. It's, you put this in, it gets this result, and you get this out. And what you wanna get out, of course, is new business. Mm-hmm. And whereas most advertising does work to an extent. Um, if you put an ad on TV, you're gonna get in front of some people that see your business. Uh, if you put an ad in a magazine, the same thing, or even a billboard, those are still around because they do work to a degree. Uh, where I think they really fall short and why I've moved completely into digital and why I've uh, built businesses completely only doing digital um, is because it works so much better. It's yeah. so much more effective. Uh, putting, uh, we'll just kind of use the, the TV analogy. Running a commercial on TV, you're putting your business in front of every single person who has eyes on that television and you're paying for every single set of eyes on that television, the vast majority of which have no interest in your business, um, but you're still paying for them. And then also then you get into the tracking. Well, how do you know that because they saw you on TV that they're a customer now? Right. Maybe they don't even remember seeing you on TV or maybe they saw you some other way and it was also on TV, but you have no way to draw that line, that, that connection. Like the numbers are inflated and they're also a little dirty. Exactly. Yeah. And, and there's no, and the same thing with print. Um, you know, one of the big things with print, which uh, I was kind of amazed to learn early in my career was that, you know, if they go and put a stack of magazines and newspapers on the corner and they say, oh, there's a hundred magazines in this stack. That counts as distribution. That counts as a hundred people. Right. Whether they got picked up or they, you know, were used Going as a, yeah, you don't know. Um, but w- when you buy that ad, you're buying a hundred eyeballs, even though they might not actually right. be eyes on your business. Um, I remember talking to a, you know, like a local magazine business owner who was saying they had 180,000 in distribution. It was like a hundred of that 180,000 was the stuff in the corner. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's, and I've talked to, yeah, the, the people that run those publications and that is how they do it. Um, and again, will you get some business out of that? Absolutely. Like someone eventually will see it and you'll probably get a phone call out of it. But very unpredictable. Unpredictable. And when you compare it to, I, I'm, I'm a numbers guy and I like data. And when you compare it to being able to say, I'm going to spend exactly this much and that spend is going to do exactly these things. If it's a situation where it's paid search, for instance, on Google, you're only paying if someone is directly interacting with that ad. And mm-hmm. then you can track that all the way to the sale of your business in most cases. So that's really exciting. Now we can put a dollar amount on the exact action of the person and say, this person here looked for this, saw my ad, clicked here, went to my website, took this action, talked to me, made a sale. This is exactly how much it costs to get them. This is how much I made off of them. And we can just keep reproducing that, which is really, I think, a better way to do things. 